Today, we're going to take on duplication. Sometimes duplication can be a good thing. And sometimes duplication can be, well, maybe not a good thing. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at three ways of managing duplication in Microsoft Excel files. First, we're going to find it or identify it. Then we'll talk about deleting duplication or getting rid of the duplicates. And then lastly, we'll use duplication to achieve a desired result in our data. So I hope you find this video helpful, and especially if you have to deal with a lot of duplication, and I'll be back right after, well, to wrap it up. So enjoy the video. The first step in managing duplication in Microsoft Excel files is to identify the duplicates. And in order to identify the duplicates, we'll first need some information that represents duplication. In this data, you'll notice that the employee ID is assigned to each person in the company. And some of these IDs are duplicated, meaning that this is a duplicate record. So we can identify these duplicates by using conditional formatting. The first step is to select all of the IDs in the column, and I'll do that by using Control, Shift, and the down arrow. Then moving to the Home tab, and then over to Conditional Formatting. Conditional Formatting presents you with a lot of options, and some of them are quite involved. But we're going to keep it simple by using the first option, Highlight Cells Rules. And then from there, over and down to Duplicate Values. When we choose duplicate values, you'll notice immediately that the IDs in the employee ID column that are duplicated change color. You're also presented with a dialog box so that you can manage these duplication colors. If I wanted to see unique values instead of duplicates, I could simply move to the combo button and click it and choose unique. And now all of the unique items in that column are highlighted. And to the right, you'll see the option for changing the color. So instead of light red fill with dark red text, we'll select one of the other options, maybe yellow fill with dark yellow text. And now the duplicate values are highlighted. I can now click OK, click any other cell, and now I can find the duplicate records immediately in this data set. Even more, I can move to the data tab, apply the auto filters, and then filter or sort by color. And isolate all of the duplicates. While it's easy enough to identify duplication in my Excel file, sometimes I need to remove that duplication. And I can do that simply by clicking anywhere in the contiguous data set and then moving up to the data tab and then over to remove duplicates. When I select the remove duplicates option, the data is selected and you'll notice that the data does have headers. You're also presented with a list of all of the columns in this contiguous data set. And what you'll need to do is to identify the column that represents duplication. Once again, our employee ID. So I'll choose the unselect button here at the top and then select only the employee ID column. And when I click OK, the duplication is removed I'm left with 35 unique values. Now this is undoable if you make a mistake, but if you wanted to perhaps keep a history of the duplication, I would suggest right clicking the sheet tab and then making a copy of the sheet and then removing the duplicates from your copy. 
Our third option for managing duplication is to work with that duplication to create additional information in the data. Here, you're seeing what is a pretty regular problem where the state may be identified for one record, but not for all of the other records in that same state. This data may have come to you this way or most likely been the result of a pivot table. But either way, I can't sort that data by state because not having states in each cell will cause errors in the sort. So I've got to find a way to make those states go all the way down for each group of people. As you can tell, the number of people in each state is varied. And if I don't want to have to type the state multiple times in a column, I can use a formula to resolve this problem. And what better formula to use than the if statement? So I've inserted a column to the left and I'll start in the first cell. Of course, it's a formula, so I'll have to start with an equal sign and then the if statement. After I open the parentheses, my logic for this formula is that if this cell to the right is empty, then show a value that's above my formula cell. Otherwise, show the value that's immediately to the right of my formula. I'll close the paren, and when I press enter, I get California, because that is the value to the right. But as I drag the formula down using the autofill handles, if there is no entry in the cell to the right, then it shows the entry above it, which again is the repeated California. And the advantage that this method has over retyping all of the entries, first off, it's a lot faster, but it also changes at each state because in the formula, we stated that if the cell to the right has a value in it, then show that value. And in this case, it does. So we can resolve the entire data set just by double clicking. So those are just a few ways of working with duplication in Microsoft Excel files. Uh, I hope that you found some of those tips to be helpful and especially that thing with the formula, that's one of my favorites. So practice the skills and until the next video, I'm Wayne.